Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to Jossie and Draws. I got a new video for you today. I've designed my own Mega Man bosses. So sit tight and let's get into it. Okay everybody, welcome back. So uh what you see on the screen right now is actually a bunch of uh, Mega Man bosses from I believe it's the SNES uh Mega Man series of games. And I really love these sprites. And I've been wanting to make my own Mega Man bosses for a while, especially getting back into pixel art and really loving the aesthetic of it. And um, I really wanted to make my own Mega Man bosses, but I didn't have any direction for what I wanted to do. And um, like I said, I've got this reference here, that, and I really, really like the aesthetic of these. These are actually pretty nice and simple. As you can see, there's only like one, two, or maybe even pushing it three colors on some of the bosses. And I love how kind of like blocky and crude they are, and I think they look really goofy and I think they're really funny. And um, like I said, I didn't have any direction, and I recently got my hair cut, and I thought, you know, it'd be a really cool idea, Barber Man. I didn't really have, didn't know what that meant or you know whatever that was, but I um, I thought, you know what, that ins uh, that has inspired me. So I ended up uh, starting to kind of like create a uh, Barber Man. So I start off with literally basically a barbershop pole. Uh, I looked up references on YouTube and um, on like Google and I found uh, a bunch of references of barbershop poles and I got my references of the uh, Mega Man bosses there and I just started kind of like putting down pixels, putting down blocks of kind of like pixels and trying to figure out kind of like the shape and what I wanted Barber Man to be and um, I made this one first here and thought that's good, it'd be really cool, I'd love him to be floating but there isn't any Mega Man bosses here that I can find that actually do float um, in that era so I thought meh whatever I'll carry on I'll actually put some legs on and I made some alterations to kind of like the form and stuff you know um, I've got this little, little face there which I really enjoyed doing and um, I've just I think I've got too many colors here maybe I've got the blue and the kind of like purpley she red here um, and then I've also got white here for uh, for the actual like bulb or like glass dome or whatever it is that's here that would obviously light up um, I don't think there's much to this one, you know, he's got like his clenched fist there, and these legs look a bit jank. Um, but I, I, I think it looks pretty funny, so I kept working on it, and I got to this stage, I thought, a lot of the Mega Man bosses are quite squat, or squatting, or kind of like really short and stumpy. So I wanted to go with more of like that, which way where this came in. It's a lot more bright, it's a lot more vibrant, a lot more kind of like friendly, that kid game kind of like uh, look, and I thought that looks really cool. But I still wasn't satisfied, so I kept working on it. And he ended up coming down to these guys, uh, which these look real a lot, lot, lot better. You know, I ended up um, kind of like squashing down him down even further. I got rid of that like top blue bit there because I didn't really think that was necessary. Um, and I just uh, kind of like got this. So he's got like the barbershop pole kind of thing on top of his head, and he's got the light thing there that would probably shoot like light lasers or something, or like red and blue laser beams or something that would do something in the game. And um, he's also holding like a like a comb blade or something like that, but really really funny. And he's got this kind of kind of the, this stance. I used a lot of the reference, like I said, from the ones I showed earlier, um, to try and get like the proportions and trying to get like the poses down for these kind of like Mega Man bosses. Um, I moved over to this one where I was trying, kind of like experimenting with a different face because I wanted to look like the boss, you know, I wanted to look angry, I wanted to look like a threat for Mega Man. Um, and I think it looks pretty good, you know, not much has changed apart from kind of like just the face here. Um, and then I moved over again and I, moved, I changed it again. Um, and this is a lot more like a menacing kind of like villain look and he also changed this arm because I really wasn't happy with the way it was looking so I changed it up again using that reference that I had and it looked really really cool now he's got like this big arm there and it's his other arm here but there wasn't really anything in there and I didn't just want to put that comb back in there as I changed this bottom bit I got rid of that kind of like weird belt there and changed up his legs as well which looks a little bit better he's like looks like he's actually firmly sat down now um, but it looks you know with this pink color it looks like he's wearing a thong right and I'm like, eh, I don't really want him to be wearing a wearing a, a, a jank ass thong, you know, my boss uh, design. So I kind of scrapped that and I came to the final one here. I also changed up the face thing. Um, I really couldn't find an expression I wanted for the face. Um, and I couldn't kind of like make it look menacing, but also kind of like goofy and cartoony. Um, so I... Um, Kind of changed up here where it's actually coming up over his face, so you can only actually see his eyes here. I also changed the um, arm again, where I had both of them like that. So he's kind of like standing like, like ah, like kind of like 
pulling his eyes out, um, pulling his arms out there. And um, I just added like a little effect here to the top of the light here that would like maybe do like an AOE attack um, in his kind of like his boss room. And like I said, I've got the legs and I changed uh, this here to this kind of like almost greeny gray color, uh, which looks really cool. I think I might have actually had a bit too many colors in here for the uh, the sprites that I used as reference. But regardless, I really love the way this turned out. I think it looks really cool. You know, a lot of Mega Man bosses have a really simple concept. You know, look at Cutman. He just has kind of like a literally a pair of scissors on top of his head. Um, and I wanted to make something a little bit more unique. So we've got Barber Man here. Um, and maybe these like red and blue uh, lights would do something like I said like maybe the bloom would be like a homing beam that would like shoot out from the top of this little lamp bin bit there and it would like shoot at you and it would uh, kind of like target you and then maybe the red one would just like destroy the terrain so that would actually make you fall through the floor or something I think that'd be really cool but uh, that's Barber Man so let me know what you think of Barber Man um, like I said, I was inspired by kind of like getting my hair cut, and that kind of led to the inspiration for the other Mega Man bosses. So why don't I get straight into them? Okay, so getting back into it now, I uh, moved on to the second Mega Man boss that I wanted to design. And like I said, I was inspired by getting my hair cut on a barber, so I thought, hmm, I can pull in that uh, theme and make it about professions, and each of these bosses would be a main profession or kind of like a job title that would inspire me which would make it a little bit easier to kind of like design them and so for this one which I call Tech Man he would be based off of a programmer or a um, kind of like technician which I think is pretty cool and um, he's got like the little uh, kind of a like computer on top of his head because I thought that would be really funny if he could be, it'd be like a uh, Windows 98 kind of like PC it would be really funny um, kind of like a lot of old tech <clears throat> and I wanted to make him look like more like a cyborg you know, this really blocky, thick cyborg that'd be a real pain to fight. So, kind of like my first one here, uh, it's not great, you know, um, it's okay. Um, there's a lot of, like, problems here, like this arm I didn't really like. I like the stance, you know, I like his kind of like almost pill shape look there. Um, <clears throat> I struggled a lot with trying to, like, fit this PC on top of his head, but I managed to get it kind of like to this stage. Um, and I have, like, a, a zero on one there because I thought. A pretty cool for his mechanic if he would be like shooting reams of code at you you know ones and zeros which would be pretty cool and maybe his um boss would be some sort of like matrix kind of like thing that'd be really fun um he's got like a little kind of almost like darth vader panel on there and his front thing that would like maybe shoot out steam or something that'd be really cool and his face is almost like a pc screen so that's why it's green um he's got like these wires that are coming out there as well and a little blinking light there so all these will be like the cord will be running down and the lights will be blinking and he'll be like bobbing up and down and you know <clears throat> it'd be really cool so i thought mm, what else can i do for this so i moved on to this one and i added a little bit more like a pinkish tone to his skin um and change up the colors to like red and black so it'll make it more more like a darth vader kind of like a uh, suit almost and uh kind of like got rid of the cord on screen because i thought that might be a little bit distracting um, and I changed up his face as, as well. I do kind of like this angry kind of like mm, kind of like face. Um, I think it, you know it's a little bit more villainous. But a lot of the villains I see there are kind of like cheeky, very kind of like smirking, or kind of like goofy. So I don't know, but um, I still enjoyed this. I wasn't really happy with this arm, but I don't change that till later, as you'll see. But um, I really like this one. Um, there's not much to say about it. I do like the face, like I said, but I do know I can do better so I kind of like change it up um, again here is more of like a color change really I went back to kind of like that original face because I really liked it and I like these kind of like these kind of like deep blue kind of like techy kind of like colors you know you got your greens your blues your purples but uh, I felt there was like too many colors on there and I've kind of started to realize that this like zeros and ones were really annoying me I felt like there was too much stuff on him because if you look on some of the other Mega Man bosses, they're pretty simple actually. They've only got kind of like one thing that really stands out. So I felt like uh, I kind of like put too much on him. But that's that one. Uh, this one here, just kind of like more of like another color change. A little bit deeper colors, a little bit more vibrant. Um, come, coming back to that kind of like peachy, orangey kind of like skin tone. You know, some of the bosses have kind of like a shade tone. Uh, so I kind of like put that on his face. But I really wasn't happy with it. Um, yeah, I just again too many colors wasn't really happy with this arm I don't know why I never really tried to change it, but the the rest of it actually came quite naturally You know, I kind of like how 
you know, pill shaped and stocky this kind of guy is, and kind of like how he's got this really cheeky look on his face. So I didn't really change much about that. And then again, like I said, another kind of like color change. I believe this is the last color change that I did before committing to the final one. Um, but I really like these kind of like these blues and this purples. So it makes it look more like a cyborg, really, rather than kind of like a uh, just some dude in a suit, you know? Because um, all these are supposed to be robots, right? So uh, here is the final uh, tech man. As you can see, I took that color palette from this one, but also mixed in some of the yellow from the original, which I really like. You know, yellow and purple look really, really good together. And then I've got this kind of like third color, which is like the uh, the blue or the teal. And I really, really like that. And I also, like I said, added this uh, cord back in at the top of there. And um, I changed up this arm finally, so he's kind of just kind of got this like clenched fist there. Um, there wasn't really much to change apart on this one apart from maybe the face going back from to more of that like blocky kind of like face on the second one there. As you can see, I also got rid of like the zero on one on his shoulder. I was thinking it was more like a shoulder ornament or something, but it's just kind of like getting in the way of the actual design. So I got rid of it, and it looks a lot better. And I like how he looks like he's actually turning towards the kind of like the player. Um, that'd be really cool. Um, and then I also added this like zero and ones here that are actually coming out of the uh, Windows 98 kind of like PC at the top of his head. Um, and I've kind of like, shifted the pixels a little bit so it looks a little bit kind of like glitchy. Um, I think it'd be really cool. Um, I went through a lot of different names of this guy. You know, Tech Man, Techno Man, um, Glitch Man, I called him at one point. I was like, I think just Tech Man looks pretty cool. You know, they're not supposed to be really complicated. Um, I think I changed up this belt bit as well, yeah. Instead of being like that, I just kind of like left it black there, which looks a lot better. Um, and he's got like a zero and one on his chest there, obviously, to kind of further reinforce the kind of like the coding kind of like uh, look on the character there. But that's uh, that's Tech Man that was inspired by a uh, computer technician or a coder, more like that. Um, I'm inspired by like a coder. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks, you know, it's got that kind of like sci fi robotic kind of like look. I don't want them all to just have like the pink face, even though a lot of the other bosses do have that. Um, but I'm I'm really happy with that. You know, it's colourful, it's vibrant. You know, it's got that again, that kind of like got that kid uh, kiddish fied kind of like proportions. He's stocky, fits in with the other ones, um, and I and I I really really like Tech Man. I think I think I've done a pretty good job on that. Um, so that's basically Tech Man. So why don't I show the show you the final Mega Man boss that I designed? And finally, we come to the final Mega Man boss that I designed, and I w was looking through kind of like different professions of what I wanted to do, and I came across Gardener, and I was like, that's a pretty cool idea. Um, I don't think there's any Mega Man bosses based off like a Gardener or a plant theme, I think, except for like, was it like Woodman, and he shoots those like leaves at you? You know, in all senses, my opinion, I don't think that's a really cool or good boss design, so I kind of want to have gone myself. Um, so what I started with is like I was looking up different plants and looking at different ones that I thought would stand out a lot on the screen And I saw sunflowers and I thought That's a pretty cool idea. Um, I want to try and create a sunflower. Oh My god, this took me so fucking long to do. It was so annoying never again Never again am I making a goddamn fucking sunflower in pixel art. It's so annoying um, you know, I spent ages trying to get kind of like this kind of like um, kind of like circular pattern on here to make it actually look good. And even even though I I do like the end result, um, I still don't think it's perfect. And I think I could make it a lot better. But oh my god, it was took me so goddamn long to do. Um, and I also made a kind of like a flower pot there, which was less you know kind of like stressful. Um, but I thought before I even try and kind of like get a kind of like body down or anything. I um, want to try and get this down. This took me legit, like, I think it took like two hours just to try and figure out what I was doing. Looking up references of real sunflowers and looking up other people's pixel art versions of sunflowers and trying to figure out, like, what the bloody hell am I doing? Uh, but I finally managed to do that. Um, and I really want this kind of this plant pot um, theme because I thought, you know how those um, those Mega Man bosses that kind of like squat down with the little helmets? And I thought it would be really cool at the top of this guy's helmet or it's like the top of his head was kind of like a plant pot where he could kind of, kind of squat down and kind of protect himself and block your attacks, which would be kind of annoying to deal with. And so I kind of like just uh, wanted to run with that um, theme. 
I started off with the same base uh, from Techman actually. I took his base and kind of like worked on that. And um, this took me a little bit longer to kind of like finesse because I didn't really know what I was actually doing. Um, which is why both of these guys actually look kind of similar. But I um, I started off with this one um, and I kind of like took my sunflower, kind of like pixel art sunflower there. And um, I kind of like halved it to make kind of like the kind of like head motif that a lot of Mega Man bosses have. You know, they have like their own head motif kind of thing. You know, I think there's like uh, a Lek Man with his lightning bolt, or kind of like I said, um, Cut Man with like the things on top of his head. So playing off that thing, um, I wanted this guy to be like really bulky and stocky. So like I said, I kind of copied some of these details over from uh, Tech Man, and so like these arms, and I didn't really know what to do for this. Um, body shape down here like I said I wanted this top bit to be more like a plant pot um, and it was its face would pop out here and it would kind of come down to like give him some armor which I think would be really fun um, I used some of the other Mega Man bosses to try and kind of copy their legs because uh, a lot of them are actually kind of like the same on the reference that I've got so it's okay um, but I wasn't really happy with the way these kind of these blocky legs were looking I didn't think it fit the character really um, and I wasn't really happy with it. Um, also, I wasn't really happy with the way this color was looking. Um, I think I've got far too many colors on here. Um, you know, I've got this kind of like this orangey brown there that doesn't look really that exciting. And I've got kind of this really, really pale orange here for kind of like a secondary highlight tone alongside the white. And I've got kind of like the peachy skin color, um, as well as all the kind of like the red, uh, not red, the uh, orange and yellow uh, for the sunflower there. And I want to kind of like change it up a bit. So I moved on to the second one here, which I actually lo love. It, it's, you know, it's cute. It's kind of like uh, fun. It's it's red. It's vibrant. It's bright. And I changed up the eyes here as well. They're a lot bigger, a lot, um, kind of more cartoonified. Um, and I also got rid of that secondary kind of like uh, half tone color there, which was really annoying me. Um, but uh, I, I much prefer this one. The deep red is really, really nice. It stands out on the screen. I feel like his stage could be kind of like a nice floral stage. Maybe it's on a big greenhouse or something. You got all these plants that are around that could trap you, and you know, kind of like um, you know, other all sorts of other stuff like vines that could trip you up and stuff like that, like uh, moving vines and kind of like shooting thorns out at you or something like that. Um, I just kind of color corrected the sunflower, but I kind of really like the original sunflower color, so I didn't stick with this color palette, but I do like it. Um, I also changed the arm on here as well to give him a blaster because I noticed on not, not, not the other ones that um, he did like none of them actually had a blaster, so I was like, I've got to get a classic Mega Man blaster in there somewhere. Um, so I kind of put that in there. I um, I also changed the legs up here, which I'm way more happy with. Um, it looks like he's actually firmly planted on the ground, you know, <laughs> planted. But uh, I, I just generally really like this. Um, I try and tried like a different color palette here, more of like a greenish kind of color palette, because I noticed that one of the designs on the other Mega Man bosses was like mostly green. Um, but uh, I didn't like it. It was too dull, it was too green, if you know what I mean. So I didn't really like it, so it didn't stay, but I, it was worth trying. And that brings us to the final one down here, which I actually... Um, changed back to more of this like orangey color but it's a little bit more vibrant it's got a little bit more red in there um and i went back to the original kind of like sunflower because that's kind of like reddish kind of like center and then kind of like the yellow and orange around there kind of almost like a headdress or a crown which i really really liked um i probably could have actually changed this blast to more of like a plant pot theme as well kind of reusing that same kind of like plant pot sprite thing there that i used that i created and then used that as the blaster maybe but uh yeah um, not much to change, I just changed the eyes back to the way they were, given this kind of like skin tone there, the orange here. A lot of like reflections, because I imagine his suit could be like, more, look like pottery. Well, obviously it's made out of metal, so it looks like it could be made out of like metal pottery, um, which I really, really like. But uh, this is Floral Man. Um, there were a couple of other names I had, like Gardener Man, or um, kind of like Soil Man, or stuff like that. Uh, but I thought, uh, you know... Uh, floral man worked pretty well um i just i just really liked where this turned out i think this is actually my favorite one that i actually done you know i do like barber man and i do like tech man but i feel like you know the more i worked on it the more i really really liked it and the more i kind of like got into the style and got into kind of like how you know learn how these Mega Man bosses looked and how they designed them um 
And so Barberman is kind of like the first one I designed, and I really, really like that one. Then Tech Man came, and I was like, okay, I'm really enjoying this. I, I can do this, you know, I'm starting to learn the style. And then I made Floral Man, which was the most difficult to do, I will say, but the one I most enjoyed, and the one I'm really happy with, like the most, you know, happy with at the end. Um, there wasn't really much I had to do for this one. Um, like I said, I had the base going off from Tech Man, so a lot of the work I had already done previously, and I just had to change and shift some proportions around. Um, you know, the the hardest actual thing to do was make this freaking goddamn fucking sunflower. That was the hardest thing to do uh, out the whole thing. But I thought Floral Man stage could be like I said, like a big greenhouse. You'd have all these vines, and they would shoot like these seeds at you. They would grow into plants that would block your way, or slap you, or kind of grab you. Um, Maybe he could actually kind of like shoot these flowers out with the top of these kind of like his head thing that would like shoot at you and be like homing missiles, but they'd be kind of like petals and they would uh, take like a second or so for them to grow back. Um, you know, kind of go with all these seeds coming out the top there, and you know, I think it'd be really, really fun. Um, just this kind of like this bright, vibrant kind of a greenhouse area. Uh, maybe you could have kind of like. It'd be called kind of like a wild area stage where you go through and then you get to Floral Man stage at the end, and uh, you would kind of like get his kind of like his seed blaster and maybe you could use that to um, uh, shoot at stuff to create kind of like plants so Mega Man can actually climb them. You know, like how he can climb ladders and stuff. Um, I think that'd be really fun. But I really, really, really like Floral Man. Um, I think that's the best one I've made. Um, so yeah. Uh, so that's it basically, that's all the Mega Man bosses that I designed, you know, tell me which one was your favourite. So let me just get all these guys here. I had a, I had a real blast uh, kind of designing these guys. Um, it's just really fun to go back and kind of like pick a really old style and try and design your own bosses in it. Or, you know, that, that's why I do this series, you know, I, I pick a thing that I really, really like, and then I want to try to make my own in it, you know. Um, so these are all the, the boys. Uh, we've got Floral Man, we got Tech Man, and we got Barber Man. Um, I, I really like them. I, I, I especially love, kind of like, like I said, Floral Man, and I also really love um, Tech Man, because he would literally shoot reams of code at you, and br like kind of like distort the game, maybe. You know, like if you get, if, um, you know, Mega Man gets hit by Tech Man's code that he shoots out of his PC on the top of his head, you would kind of like reverse your control, so you'd be going backwards, or jump would be down, or, or the slide, or something like that. I think it'd be really fun. And then Barbans, you know, he's the first one that I created. It's not the best, but I really enjoyed doing it, and I, like I said, I had an idea I wanted to do, and I followed through with the end of it. And I think the most one that looks like a Mega Man boss actually is Floral Man. But you know, let me know what you think. Um, would you want to fight against these guys? You know, which one's your favorite? What are the ideas do you think that could be for their stages? You know, all that kind of good stuff. So that's what I've got. So that's all the Mega Man bosses that I've designed. Um, so let me know which one's your favorite um and that's all i've really got for so don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good jazz and i'll see you guys next time bye hey there thanks for watching if you like what you see don't forget to like comment subscribe and share my work around i'll see you next time